And the Partenope. Again, I hope I probably can't read that. Uh, read that. There is an, a very nice blind engraving that you can hardly see, which I think is a good thing. It's not too in your face, but with this light, it's it's too reflective. Anyway, I'll show you that up close later. This is another pen by Joya. It, I think this has a lot going for it. There is a, a very nice clip. Uh, there is the Gulf of Naples engraved on the cap. There is enamel. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So I'm very enthusiastic about this one. I think what we need to do is go over the parts of the pen and I will do a writing sample and I will tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started straight away. Okay, the Gioia Partenope came in this very interesting box. There's a cardboard outer sleeve and then there is this box which has Gioia on it, which has the Gulf of Naples in a, a sort of a, I don't really want to say cartoon, but in a, in a, should we call it a cartoon? What do you call this? A simplified, there's a word for this and I, I can't figure it out right now, but it'll come, it'll come back to me. A sort of simplified diagram version, which I think is nice. And this box is wood, but it looks like a book, which I think is really cute. It has a little clasp on it, which you can open up, which actually looks a bit like a seashell. Um, and then inside are a couple of things. So we have um, a bit of a, a history on the pen, how you know the, the, the company, how the pen is made. We have a warranty card, and I'm just going to put that there. And very interestingly, with this pen, so it comes in there. Uh, it also comes with a rollerball uh, section, which I think is very neat. So that is really quite nice. Um, I'm just going to take out the pen. I will, you know what, let me take out the rollerball too so I can do a quick bit of writing with that. Let me just take the box out of the way and zoom in a bit. And then we can have a look at this pen, the Partenope. So right next to a Pilot Metropolitan for size, you can see this is not a small pen. It's quite girthy and it's, it's definitely a bit bigger. Very, very nice. And with rose gold trim, which I think is really neat, but there's a lot going on. So these come in a couple of finishes which is really neat. Uh, I really like this as sort of a, a, a faux ivory. It, it, it has a bit of the feel of ivory, which I, for some reason, thought went well with this particular model. I, of course, wouldn't... I, I mean, I'm not pro-ivory. I'm just saying it, I, I like the looks of this. Now, there's a lot going on. So here we have the Joya... Um, uh, logo, sorry, wow. Uh, in actual enamel on top of the finial, which is very nice. This part of the cap has that same Gulf of Naples. I'm trying to hold it a little bit so it doesn't reflect too much light. So the Gulf of Naples is in there in relief, in a rose gold finish, which is very nice. This clip, you can lift up a bit with that mechanism, which is nice. Made in lost, uh, sorry, through the um, uh, lost wax technique, which allows you to uh, copy um, something like a clip, like from another clip, so that it's kind of nice. Uh, this is the worst explanation ever, but you you can look into that if you if you want more. It's quite quite interesting. Now we have the the cap. We have the Italian flag, which I think is nice. There is an engraving here, which you may or may not see. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but it says Gioia Partenope, made in Italy. Um, and here we have a grey end cap. This is not a piston filler. I have reviewed the their other model, the uh, Alleria, which is a piston filler. This one is cartridge converter filled, but bear in mind, rollerball, right? Um, cap on screws. Then you have the same... This is a really weird way to balance this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but anyway. You have the section that's the same color, sort of deep grey, as that end cap. And here we have a rose gold colored nib that I am actually fairly sure is steel. It handles like steel and it looks like a Yovo nib that's unbranded, but it's a broad nib and it's a joy to write with. It's very, very pleasant, very comfortable. The pen opens up. Um, there seems to be a bit of metal in the end there because there is weight to the end of the barrel. Uh, here we have the converter, which is 
labeled Joya made in Italy, and I thought it was a screw, yes, it's a screw-in converter, and then, a f I should not have done that, oh my god, amateur, never handled a fountain pen before, whoop, there we go, and I'll just use my fingers to make my mistake. Op de blaren zitten, etc. in Dutch. Now, putting that back into place. Uh, no, I didn't because I wanted to show you the rollerball. So we also have the rollerball tip, sorry, rollerball section actually, right? Screws in place. Now you have a rollerball, which is also quite comfy, and I will write with that as well in the writing sample. Uh, overall, then we have some metal there, so the, the, the pen has a remarkable weight to it. It's by no means the heaviest pen I've ever held, but it's it's quite solid for what looks to be a resin pen. And um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it before we get into likes and dislikes. So let's do a bit of writing. As an ink here, uh, I have selected Mont Blanc Irish Green because I thought that fit the green in the Italian flag quite well. Did you know the Italian flag is based on the French flag? History. Look it up. Okay, so here we have the Gioia. Um, Partenope. We have a broad nib and we have Mont Blanc Irish green in it. And this nib is so fantastic. It is a really pleasant writer. It is incredibly smooth, but it doesn't skip. Lazy, lazy dog. I just love it. Very nice. It's a nice... Um, this is a wet ink but it's a nice wet writer and um, a bit of line variation to be had as always very careful right very nice um, reverse writing not possible see it just doesn't work so there is that, but then, Habemus Rollerball. Which is a very nice smooth writer, I must say, not squeaky, very nice. So. We have a pen, we have an apple, which, no wait, we have this pen, we have a rollable section. I think we need to talk about likes and dislikes. Let's do that. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Partenope? Uh, I think the Partenope has a lot going for it. First and foremost, it's a solid writer. This nib is super smooth, super pleasant to use. No skips, no hard starts, and so smooth. It's a joy, and I'm very enthusiastic about this. I also love the rose gold plating that matches the trim of the pen very nicely, but it's a solid writer. And I'm not a collector, I use my pens. So to have a pen that writes so beautifully is big, big props, especially in a world where, you know, Fountain pens you buy don't always write, because why would they write? So, that is great. Second thing I love, it's a complete set. Right? It's a complete set. It's not just the fountain pen. You also get the rollerball section and you get a, um, a refill uh, in it too, which I think is really quite nice. So, you get that all on. Now I have to screw this back into place. There we go. Um, so, a complete set. You get two writing modes. That you can switch between, which I think is, is neat. I'm not a huge rollerball user, but I do think it's nice that you have that option. Right? Sometimes a rollerball, let's be fair, is practical. You have to fill out forms that press through, but you know, that kind of stuff. 
So, great writer, comfortable, complete set, uh, the double modes of, of writing, um, I think all of that is great. The final thing I will say is things I don't like so much, I love the Gulf of Naples, I love the enamel, again, it has a lot going for it. Um, the one thing I wasn't a huge fan of, this pen comes in multiple finishes, I like this sort of faux ivory because I just thought it looked really cool on this pen. I kind of wish that the section and this end cap were the same material because I'm not sure that I'm a huge, huge fan of the grey. I don't think it's ugly or something. I just think it would look better if it was the same material. And the other finishes of the pen also have sections that are different uh, and end caps that are, for example, black. Um, having said that, what I do appreciate about this grey is that this kind of material, in my experience, stains quite easily. So, if you dip it into a bottle of ink, because it is a comes with a converter, does not come with cartridges, this might stain easily. So from that perspective, I'm actually happy that it's not the same material. Um, but just saying, I think it would be nice, because you have a cap in that material, a barrel in that material, and then you have a piece of grey. I just think it, it might look nice. So maybe, maybe in a future iteration, uh, here we have that other model, let's send me the Aleria, which is solidly all the same material. And I just think it looks very good, but that's just me. I like I like it when a section matches the rest of the pen. Uh, it's an aesthetic issue, and it's, it's, a, it's a personal issue. So having said that, we have all that. Um, I think that's it. The price of the pen, I should mention, it's 155 euros, which is not nothing, but bear in mind, hand turned in Italy, uh, solid rod, etc. And basically two pens, right? Because you get the fountain pen and the rollerball. So if you take that into account, I, I think it is reasonably priced. With the lost wax clip and with the, the nice relief of the, the Gulf of Naples and the enamel, all that stuff, I think it's a very refined pen. It has a lot of refined p features that you would find on uh, uh, more expensive pens. 155 euros, again, it's not it's not nothing, and I, I know that. But given how well it writes, given the two modes, given all that stuff, handmade in Italy, I honestly think it's a fair price that fits in the market uh, quite well. So there you have it. A very kind thank you to Joya for sending me these pens, because they sent me two, right? Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.